This is the eHealth Radio Network, your source for health advice on demand. And now your host, Eric Michaels. Thanks for joining us once again here on the Health Radio Network. This is your host, Eric Michaels. E-Health Radio gives you the most current health information, news, and advice featuring some of the leading innovators in healthcare and wellness who are changing healthcare. As we know it, for more eHealth Radio reports, we invite you to visit our main radio channel site at eHealthRadioNetwork.com. Today on the program, we have Pradeep Kumar, the co-founder of The Art of Self-Healing, a company that takes Indian wisdom with a holistic approach to help people maintain and improve their health and wellness. And Pradeep, thanks for joining us here today on the program. Thank you for having me, Eric. Appreciate it. And you're certainly more than welcome. So for starters, and a great place to start, what are the five steps or rituals for better sleep? Who doesn't want to get better sleep? Okay, so basically, you know, rituals are something we do throughout the day, and it is just not while trying to sleep. And um, uh, one of the major things is that you try and put away your emotional pain, emotional wound, or obsessive emotional chatter because as far as sleep is concerned, um, the it is a barometer of your well-being. So it is one of the most significant functions of a human life. And so in order to get to the place where we want to be, we need to exercise certain things. Um, for example, we need to do the breathing exercises. We need to um, basically do some uh, foot massages, which helps greatly, and also some head massages um, before, just right before sleep. More importantly, taking a um, a good lukewarm um, shower can help greatly in uh, helping you to sleep. So that's essentially what it does. That sounds pretty awesome right there. And you spoke of breathing techniques. What are the seven breathing techniques before going to sleep? Okay, so there are um, certain techniques I'm not going to mention and confuse your audience into Sanskrit words, so I'll just put it in plain English. It's called as I am spirit breathing. That's number one. And there is uh, a bellows breathing, and um, also there is illumination of skull breathing. Uh, There is extensional, uh, rather external retention breath, and also alternate nostril breathing and uh, bee breathing. And last but not the least, there is ocean sound breathing. So we have actually mentioned all of these techniques in our book. So if you read through it, you will be pretty much well versed in getting to do this more and more. And of course, practice makes it perfect. So you get to practice the right way. And more importantly, you have to do this in its sequence. You cannot do one after the other. So you can't mix and match it. You got to go through that sequence. That's very important. Just wanted to put it out there. Yeah, certainly appreciate it and some good information there. Tell us also, what are the 10 sleep codes? I understand uh, that's some good information that you do mention quite a bit. Uh, Get into that a little, if you would. Okay, so... Code number one, we have written about value sleep. Code two is about sleep education and training. So many of them are not aware about how to sleep right, how to sleep well. Um, Third one is bringing harmony into your life. Fourth is develop a positive attitude. Uh, Number five is conquering your emotions. Uh, Number six is developing a happy mind. Number seven, as we discussed, is about pranayama, which is breathing techniques. Uh, Number eight is stress and anxiety. And number uh, number nine, rather, is all about energy healing. And number 10 is doing your sleep rituals. So like I mentioned, all these sleep rituals needs to be done over the course of the day. So it's just not when you go to sleep, but you can keep on practicing it through the course of the day, which will give you that benefit of a very nice, deep sleep. And that is certainly what we need. And that certainly is a road and a path 
to a healthy lifestyle, having proper sleep, and we really appreciate all the information shared so far. Today, we're speaking with Pradeep Kumar, the co-founder of The Art of Self-Healing, a company that takes Indian wisdom with a holistic approach to help people maintain and improve their health and wellness. And he's joined us here today on E-Health Radio's Health News and Sleep Health Channels, a part of the E-Health Radio Network. Now, continuing on, Pradeep, uh, what are the external factors to avoid when preparing to sleep? So uh, it is always recommended that you stay away from your screens at least two hours before your sleep time. Uh, it is also advisable that you quieten your mind, you calm yourself a lot better. Um, certain people actually, you know, get into the habit of doing their accounting before they actually go to bed. And uh, they want to make sure that their uh, books are all tallied, etc. That's the worst practice you can ever do because you're adding to your stress, which you really don't want. And so uh, when, when you quieten your mind and when you actually go into uh, these uh, practices, it actually helps you sleep much better. More importantly, it's all about in the West, we talk about sleeping for so many hours. But in the East, the philosophy is about sleep units. What that means is that if you sleep between the hours of 9 p.m. to 12 a.m., for every hour of sleep, you get two units of sleep. And from 12 a.m. to 3 a.m., for every hour of sleep, you get one unit of sleep. And from 3 a.m. to 6 a.m., for every hour of sleep, you get half a unit. After 6 p.m., there is actually no benefits to doing your uh, sleeping or continuing to uh, sleep. So making that consistent timing in your life is very important for you to attain that deep sleep, what we are talking about. Now, emotions play a factor in our health overall. How do emotions play a part in our sleep? Right. So basically, you know, we all carry a huge baggage of emotions within us, particularly when we react to situations. It, it is called anger. It's called pride. And it's sometimes called as envy. So you need to control your outpourings of um, one's mind so that we can, you know, escape ourselves from the clutches of a superficial and endless flood of emotional thoughts. So calming exercises are very important because you need to learn to separate yourself from your emotions because you're not your emotions. And so in order to understand that, uh, it is very important that you, uh, you know, take, take on certain practices in your own life. And um, um, there are um, people who have a lot of emotional pain, emotional wounds, uh, kind of obsessive emotional chatter going on in their minds. They need to quieten that. And the way you can do that is by practicing the breathing because breathing actually um, changes the pattern of the way you're, you think. So breathing is associated with our thoughts. And the benefit of the breathing I was talking to you about is that it decreases stress. It improves your sleep quality. You know, it increases mindfulness. It reduces your high blood pressure, improves your lung function, enhances your uh, um, cognitive performance, reduces your cravings and things like that. So there are, um, I mean, like there are countless amount of benefits practicing breathing which can, the reason it is called pranayama in Sanskrit is because the word prana means life force energy and yama means control. So it is control breathing, what we are talking about. So that is what that word essentially means. So it is very important for one to actually practice that in a very religious way. Once again, we certainly appreciate your taking a moment to be with us here today. And of course, you are the co-author of the Sleep Code Renew Your Lifestyle, Recode Your Mind, and Restore Your Sleep. It is an international bestseller. Before you go in, in conclusion, any closing thoughts, a final word or a tip or a takeaway that you'd like to share as we conclude today? Right. So uh, the only thing I can uh, um, basically inform people who are struggling to sleep is actually 
to get into that state where they don't associate themselves with their emotions. You should actually learn to avoid all those thoughts which come to you. And that is what meditation actually teaches you um, as to how to avoid those thoughts which constantly bombard you. The moment you learn to practice that, it becomes much more easy. And as far as food is concerned, uh, you need to take food uh, at least three hours before your bedtime. And more importantly, it is beneficial if you actually eat a banana 30 to 40 minutes before your sleep time. It actually helps a lot in, um, I mean, making you sleep like a baby. So those are certain things I just wanted to throw out there. Mr. Kumar, really do appreciate that valuable information shared there in conclusion. If listeners wanted to get more information on the art of self-healing and or pick up your book, The Sleep Code, where's the best place to get further details? So they can visit us uh, at www.artofselfhealing.ca and uh, they can download uh, the book from there. Right now we are offering it for free so they can find their copy out there and take advantage of it. Hey, that is a huge bonus right there. We thank you for that. Again, all the best. Thanks so much for joining us here today on ELF Radio. It certainly was our pleasure. My pleasure, Eric. Thank you for having me. Now, you're certainly more than welcome. We've been speaking with Pradeep Kumar, the co-founder of The Art of Self-Healing, a company that takes Indian wisdom with a holistic approach to help people maintain and improve their health and wellness. And for all the details, simply visit artofselfhealing.com. CA. And again, this has been your host, Eric Michaels, and we do thank you for your continued support of the Yelp Radio Network. Join us again soon for another episode that will help further expand your knowledge on those things that are important to your health and wellness. For more Yelp Radio reports, we invite you to visit our main radio channel site at yelpradionetwork.com. And as always, we do thank you for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in to the eHealth Radio Network. For more information or to subscribe to this podcast, visit eHealthRadioNetwork.com.